Chris, congratulations defeating Luke Humphreys here at the World Grand Prix. That's some statement you've just sent out. Yeah, of course. Uh, he's, he's the most informed player um, from myself point of view. Uh, winning all those European tours and being solid on the floor all year. So, yeah, I'm delighted to, to get a, such a big win because I was the underdog then. I don't mind being the underdog, so... I'd say you touched on it there. You all seem to produce your best when you are that underdog and playing that underdog role. Is that something that you enjoy and you revel in? Yeah, of course I enjoy it, but I don't like I don't mind being the underdog. But I prefer to be one of the the top boys. But uh, my form hasn't quite been there this year. And yeah, obviously Luke wasn't at his best. He, he played well, but obviously he's got some personal things on his mind, which is probably more to come than Dart. So. I wish Luke all the best uh, with the family and yeah, I'm, I'm still happy to get the win. I said, you obviously know how Luke feels waiting for a little one to, to yeah, arrive. What's, what's that like as a, as a family thing? Is that one of the hardest things in the world? Without doubt, it's the hardest thing. Um, obviously, his missus is due and she's, uh, I think she's went over the due date so it could come at any minute. So obviously, that that's on your mind all the time and I, I've went through that myself knowing I was actually in the European tour um, when she got the the day to have calls, so I was I was luckily I was back home for that. But uh, you, you wouldn't want to miss the birth of your, your first trailers, especially for for Luke. So, like I said before, I, I wish him all the best and uh, hopefully um, he enjoyed it. In terms of yourself, is this the result that you need? Because this could be a catalyst and a springboard. It's a busy time of year coming up, and we've seen you play some brilliant stuff and, and lose with big averages. Is this could be the turning point that you just gone? Chris Davey goes on a run from here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. Obviously, I went far in it a few years back. Uh, reached the semi final, so we we play this back home. Our local leagues is all double start, so this is what I'm used to. So I think um, this suits me down to the T, and there's no reason why I can't go for this this week. And um, yeah, it's, it's always nice to perform your best um, in the back end of the year. Like you say, semi final last time we were at the City West. Do you feel that game is close in you, within yourself? Because we've seen you play brilliantly on stage for World Championships like in this. Is that close? Yeah, of course. Um, I used a brand new barrel there uh, tonight for the first time. Um, obviously, practice with it back at home, but uh, it's the first time getting the match practice with it uh, on the big stage as well. So I'm delighted with how, how they went. Um, and yeah, practice makes perfect, and you can only practice more. In terms of new barrel straight out of the packet or new design? No, no, straight out of the packet. Um, obviously, I, I don't change darts much, and uh, you know me now. If I feel the need to change, after the European tour display the other week, uh, I, I felt they were a bit slipping out my hand, and I didn't like that. So, yeah, I got straight on a new barrel, and hey, uh, playing well again. Great pleasure. Thank you very much. Cheers. 2 0 down in the first set. What's going through your mind at that point, given how short the format is? Hey, any anybody can come back. Uh, you, you've seen some of the best comebacks in probably this competition, so you never ever doubt yourself. Um, and I knew I had it in us to to come back. Obviously, it's it's nice a little revenge against Luke as well. From he come back against me in the world. So yeah, it's it is. It's you never give up. You just fight till the end, and it paid off. Does this banish a few demons from the match play? Nah, well. Of course not. It, it it was a hard one to take, but I was straight on the practice board. Um, straight, everybody was doubting us. Oh, it'll be it'll take them ages to get over that. But the following week, pro to us, I reached a semi final and quarter final, and I played all right. So now nah, that was forgetting about. Once once I started putting the work in, there's no way it's going to happen again. Uh, throwing a lead like that. So ho hopefully form continues. Is that a sign of your mental strength, do you think, the fact you can recover so quickly and, and move on and get results? It's, it's a massive part of my game uh, that you can't dwell on it too long because if, if I dwell on it too long then I'll, I could just go down the ranks and just beat myself up. Uh, so you just got to stay focused and keep believing in yourself and just keep throwing darts. In general, how would you assess how your season's gone and any targets between now and the end of the year? Uh, it's, it's been a pretty poor year, even though I've qualified for quite a few majors and quite a few Euro tours. Uh, form hasn't been great, but the practice, the back end of the years is where all the, the big majors and stuff come. So the practice is going well and I'm happy with my form at the minute. So hopefully I can have a deep run here to, to progress. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Chris, you say it's not been the year you wanted. The fact you're qualifying, you're still in all of these major tournaments must be a positive. Yeah, of course. Um, 
like I said, I'm, I'm I'm playing well. I'm I'm focused now, and I'm happy with where my game is. So if, if, as long as I get that match practice and more games under my belt, then I'm only going to get better. So we've seen so many players come to the World Grand Prix and really kickstart their career on TV. Michael Van Gogh, the obvious one. Yeah. Do you feel like this is the sort of tournament where you can really come out and show your best once again? Yeah, as, as I touched on before, it's it's what we've been brought up on. Uh, back in the northeast, our local leagues as double start, uh, nominated double. So we, we get practice on them quite regular. And when I've been back home practicing, all I've been practicing is first start to run at a double, and then straight under the treble. And it worked a treat in Dublin the last time I was there. So it's it's going to be the same this year. Mm-hmm.